Hi everyone. I'm Dr. Joseph Nyandraj and this is Dr. Logic 360 where your health gets smarter and simpler. Imagine waking up and standing and suddenly your heart starts pounding. Your vision fades, the room spins. All you did was stand up. When standing up feels like climbing a mountain, it could be pots. People tell you it's anxiety or dehydration or just in your head but it's not it's called pots postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome today i'm going to talk about the causes symptoms and management of pots at the end i'm going to teach you a breathing technique which could greatly help pots so stay tuned pots is very common between the age of 15 and 45 years and it's also more common in females in pots your heart beats too fast when you stand up and it can make you feel dizzy tired or sick doctors think there are several reasons why this happens some people with pots have too much adrenaline a hormone that makes your heart beat faster in some people with pots the nerves that help control things like sweating digestion and blood flow don't work right let's explain this with a simple analogy imagine a balloon man for the balloon man to stand erect there should be a good flow of air which is the blood in your body the ropes which holds the balloon man is your nervous system if there is inadequate air flowing within the balloon man or if the ropes are loose the balloon man could become wobbly similarly if we have inadequate blood flowing in our system or if there is dysfunction of our autonomic nervous system then we could be finding difficult to stand upright and in order to compensate this the balloon man's air pump is going to work harder so similarly our heart is also going to be beating faster that's why you feel the palpitations in pots some people also started having pots after getting sick with covid-19 some people also developed pots after covid-19 vaccination so how do doctors diagnose pots in normal individuals our heart rate increases transiently after we stand up and gets back to baseline within few seconds which is usually less than 10 uh, 10 to 20 seconds but in patients with pots the heart rate increases beyond 30 beats per minute in adults and beyond 40 beats per minute in kids and teens under 20s in pots the heart rate remains elevated as long as the patients are standing and the doctors can assess the heart rate response to standing in their office or during a special testing called tilt table test where the patients are strapped to a table and the table is slowly tilted to 70 degrees or 80 degrees when the doctor monitors your heart rate and determine if you have pots or not they also look for symptom reproduction at the time of the testing Let's talk about how pot patients feel. It feels like running out of battery halfway through the day. Like your brain's buffering. Like your body is screaming stand up but your blood did not get the memo. You might deal with dizziness, brain fog, chest pain, fatigue, anxiety or nausea or headaches. And more importantly, most patients with pots have palpitations. Some days you feel okay others even brushing your teeth feels like a marathon and yet you still get up you still try and that's strength most people never see let's look at other conditions that look like pots first is dehydration not drinking enough water can cause similar symptoms to pots but the important differentiating point is in dehydration your blood pressure is going to be lower whereas in pots your blood pressure is typically normal or higher 
and sometimes certain medications such as decongestants or caffeine can make your heart beat faster. Similarly, POTS can be mistaken for anxiety or panic attacks. Sometimes POTS can be associated with a syndrome called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which is a joint problem where your joints are very lax and flexible. Sometimes POTS can also be associated with mast cell activation syndrome, which can produce flushing like POTS, but it is usually associated with uh, itching and other respiratory symptoms like wheezing, etc. So how can we help these patients with POTS? Always drink more water, typically about three liters a day. Eat more salty foods, if your doctor says it's okay. Avoid standing for a long period of time. Use compression stockings, particularly thigh-high stockings and girdles. If these measures does not work, your doctors may prescribe medications such as beta blockers to slow down your heart rate. Recently, Ivabridin, a medication which also slows your heart rate, has been found to be very useful in patients with POTS. POTS patients should always exercise. Exercise helps, but start small and slow, like recommend biking, leaning back, swimming, and rowing machines can be used for exercising. Now, I'm going to teach you a simple breathing technique to help with the symptoms of POTS. This breathing technique called Brahmari Pranayama or the Humming Bee Breathing Technique stimulates that part of the nervous system called parasympathetic nervous system and reduces your heart rate. It also reduces your blood pressure to some extent and helps with anxiety. It helps most of these symptoms with POTS over a period of time. To get the maximal benefit of this breathing technique, it is recommended to do eight to 10 times as a set in the morning and if possible in the afternoon and in the evening and do it on a regular basis along with the other measures which we discussed little earlier. Now let's go to the breathing technique or the Brahmari Pranayama. For doing this breathing, please sit comfortably in a chair with your back straight. Now, with your thumb, press firmly on the flap, the small flap in front of your ears and close the ears and with your index finger, close your eyes, place your middle finger on the side of the lower part of your nose on either side, place your ring finger above your upper lip and the pinky finger below your lower lips. Now, take a deep breath. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out with a humming sound. Towards the end, your abdomen should go inside. You could hum as long as you could, letting your breath out. Now let's do it again. I'm taking a deep breath. Hold it for a few seconds. Now let it out with a humming sound as long as you can. My friend, POTS does not define you. You are not lazy, you are not dramatic. You are living in a body that has to fight a little harder against gravity and you still rise every day. And that, my friend, is strength. Stay hydrated, stay hopeful, stay salty in the good way. Thanks for listening.
And this is Dr. Joseph Nyandraj for Dr. Logic 360, where your health gets smarter and simpler. Thank you.